Now, Greece is battling one of Europe's deadliest wildfires this season, with several firefighters, in fact, scrambling to contain a huge blaze, which has reportedly killed at least about 20 people in just the last 10 days. The blaze started near the city of Alexandropolis and then raged uncontrollably across northeastern Greece's Evros region. The gusty winds and high temperatures led the fire to spread pretty rapidly, destroying tens of thousands of hectares of land. And government officials even termed the wildfire as a mega fire. Now, according to the EU backed Copernicus Climate Change Service, the wildfire in Evros has burned over 77,000 hectares of land. This, on record, has been one of the biggest wildfires on European soil in many years. Until 7.20 I was here, trying to save whatever I could, but I couldn't do anything because of the high temperatures and all the smoke here. I tried with a friend to save whatever I could, but the temperature was too high. I left everything as it was and left. In my shed, about 250 empty beehives burned, as well as 100 live beehives that were ready to give honey. My sheds were full of tools and beekeeping equipment, which was destroyed. I think it only took two hours to create the conditions you see here now. Now, experts are warning that climate change is likely to worsen the extreme weather conditions, a situation that may very well lead to more wildfires. Firefighting officials from Cyprus, Germany, Sweden, Bulgaria and Slovakia have all joined hands in helping Greece to put out the blazes in the recent weeks. Separately, another wildfire that has in fact spread on the outskirts of Athens last week was controlled. And this, according to Greece's fire department, the wildfires have forced scores of people to flee from their homes. As several wildfires have erupted across the European nation for the second time this summer. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.